Hey, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. Welcome to another Node video. And in this Node, I want to show you a script and a command line utility that we utilize to restart our Node.js server automatically and to get some kind of hot reload dish functionality while development. So the tool I want to show you is Supervisor. Let's open their GitHub repository. It's called Supervisor or Node Supervisor and what you get is a command line tool that you can start the entry point of your Node.js application. So it will listen on changes for your Node.js application and you don't have to do the hot reload automatically by uh, control C, uh, up arrow and enter to restart the server every time you do a change. Supervisor will listen for changes automatically on the, on the JavaScript files. So you don't have to care about any propagation to the application. You can open your server in the browser and every route addition, every new route, every change in the route handler or models will be propagated to the application that is running in the background. Okay, let's see how you can install Node Supervisor. You can go down to the GitHub repository and it's a very simple install mechanism. It's just a global NPM install for Supervisor. Okay. If you have installed this application, you can go to your terminal. We will go to WebStorm so I can show you that the changes in any JavaScript file follows a restart of the server. So when having supervisor on your command line, you can use the entry point of your server, which is server.js for the FutureFlix app, which we will use. And starting the server, you can see that the that we are listening for changes on the JavaScript files. Okay, let me open any of the base routes and just the index route. Okay, so if we're adding any comment here, uh, register the routes, you can see when saving, it automatically starts or restarts the server. If we are deleting the routes, it will also restart the server. So you can do any change on the on your server and also on the handler so like removing the specific status code for the missing handler and you can see it restarts the server so it's really nice to hot reload your application and propagate any change to the browser so you don't have to have to manually do like this any change no propagation, restart, server again. It's gone forever. Enjoy coding and make it rock.